Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Monday. We've talked about the lack of diversity in the acting categories for the Oscars. Well, a new report finds that a, quote, epidemic of invisibility is running top to bottom through the entertainment industry for women, minorities, and LGBT people. University of Southern California Annenberg School used an inclusivity index for 10 major media companies. Every movie studio, almost all the TV makers, received a failing grade. Nobody got a very good grade, that's for sure. All of the films released by the major studios in 2014 all of the scripted first-run TV and digital series across 31 networks and streaming services were analyzed here. Mm. Pretty exhaustive survey. Not reality shows, so you okay. can look at that and say, like, all right, well, those scripted. weren't included, we're but it's Brains, scripted wrong, stuff. Beauty, not in that. Not category. included there. Yeah. So let's show you some of the numbers. This is for speaking characters in film and TV. Only 33% female. One third. To me, wow. that's maybe the most shocking stat. That's the this. biggest disparity between mm -hmm. representation and population. Oh, the minority speaking characters, the population in the United States is closer to 38, 39%, so 28% yeah. significant underrepresentation. LGBT, 2% uh, is not that far off from what the surveys say the population sure. is. Matt, let's start with that. The female number is really startling to me. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, you talk about. <laughs> The, the director specifically, I mean, there's a lot of white men. We've seen um, some women kind of step forward in that regard in the last couple of years. Um, I think directors, let's Locker. show you those numbers. You're talking about directors, so uh, we haven't shown those yet. Let's oh, show you okay. those numbers right sure. now. 87 to 90 percent of directors. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's so the high. shocking number and there. And female, only 15 percent of TV directors are women. 30% of female. Uh, so, what do you think this right? says? Like, if it's primarily white men that are on TV, is this just stasis? Is this just what we're used, used to it? seeing? What you grew up watching? So, we're comfortable with it. We don't want it to change. You looked at this, Allie, the women in. Well, I think the most startling thing is, too, just women as a whole. If you're a woman over 40 in Hollywood, you're more than likely not going to have a job. Yeah, Unless your name is Meryl Streep, and <laughs> right. then you're fine. But almost all of the older roles in film are men. Yeah. Yeah, sure. white men. I'm glad that we're seeing numbers like this, though, because I think that for a lot of people, you think, okay, like you think about your favorite shows, you're like, all right, maybe there aren't as many women as there should be. But then you see numbers like this, and it breaks it down, and it actually brings this conversation forward. It's not just about the Oscar nomination, so we're not talking about, you know, who's getting nominated. These are just people that you can even choose from. So I'm glad to see that this is out there, and I do think that going forward, we are going to see a little more change. Will it be overnight? I doubt it. But I feel like start. if you looked at lead characters, mm -hmm. there would be a little more parody. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's all of the kind of side characters, mm -hmm. the supporting characters, the background characters with a line here or there. Yes. Especially action movies, it's almost all men. Mm -hmm. And so you look at the leads, yes, there's a male and a female. Or yes, there might be uh, representative minorities. But it's all the other characters. But who is the onus on? Whose job is it to hire more women? more people of diversity for these types of roles. Yeah. The studios, the networks. And they make the excuse that people don't, people just want to go see the what they want to see. I don't know. I think you, wrote, you raised an interesting point there. I mean, just looking at Academy Award nominees, so there's been 20 male nominees. Ten of those have had a white buddy or a white counterpoint. Like, you can't stomach the African-American lead unless there's the white mm -hmm. guy or the white yeah. lady to sure. help you. Very eye-opening as we get close to the Oscars, looking at this uh, more and more. Yeah. When you get